Welcome to Walking Dead Hangout. Um, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're a little late, but that's all right. Season four, episode what was it? Malcolm, episode ten. Episode yeah. ten, in episode mate. ten, inmate. Awesome episode. Lots and lots of things happen, but first, let's go to our introductions. I'm Cecil. I wish Otis was still alive and T Dog because I, I like bears. Um, I'm Malcolm Travers, the editor of M3, and um, huge Walking Dead fan. I read the comics, so happy to be here. That's Malcolm and James. Yeah, I'm James. I'm co-founder of Mel Me and Mine, and I'm just a new follower to The Walking Dead. So, bear with me if I don't know everything. So, let's just jump right into it. Let's let's just kind of um, let's do a real quick impressions of the show. Uh, James, just a general impression of what you thought about the show. It was a lot. That's what I thought about the show. I know they, that's right. they they brought so many people back in one episode, so it was kind of hard to keep up and keep up with the names and what's going on here and. Plus, they had the whole episode intertwined with each other, but the characters didn't know that. <laughs> you know, like the footprints, then find out later that that was Tyrese and the kids' footprints, and it was a lot. It was just a lot. With the last episode being so small, mm-hmm. you know, they jumped out into, what, like 10 characters or something like that? I was, uh, I was happy they did that, because I didn't want them to drag it out, but... Um, right. At the same time, yeah, I I missed a lot of those cross things, you know, where the past crossed, and I kind of saw it, but I really didn't understand it. So you're probably gonna have to explain it to me. But um, I mean, as far as I was concerned, I was thrilled that they had an episode where they just kind of caught everybody else up. Right. Um, you know, I appreciated the narrow focus of the last episode, uh, just kind of talking about Rick and talking about Michelle and talking about well, not really so much Rick, but just uh, Carl and Michelle. Because the fan, you know, those are the fan favorites. People really wanted to see that. Um, from what I understand, like a whole comic or two, and you know, just use that as an episode. Um, yeah. There, there seems to be a lot more fan service to the uh, comic reading community yeah. um, uh, in, in this particular season than there has been in the past. So that's pretty cool. But I did like the fact that um, there was a little bit of hope in that. It seems like everybody is close to everybody else in proximity, right. but they don't really necessarily know it. Yeah. Right. So, like, like you'd see something like the put, like the, the grapes that were uh, smushed into dirt. Like right. somebody will see those at night, but what happened happened in the daytime. So they're not really that far away from each other. First set of, um, I, okay. I guess I'll call them inmates. And that we got, we got uh, Daryl and Daryl. We have Daryl and Beth. Well, I definitely, I remember we spoke a little bit about the intro they had with her reading from her journal, Mm -hmm. kind of giving this before and after, like uh, how safe she felt at the prison, like she took out her journal and started writing, Yeah. and then later you see her burning it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. There's something very poignant about that. Yeah, Uh, right. I like the fact that, um, I guess Daryl, as a character, has changed where I don't know if he would have put up with Beth the way that he is now. Like when uh, they found all those bodies and she was just sitting there crying, like right. uh, he was still pretty much a, a dick to her a few times. <laughs> he was. He was. Um, he's he has mellowed out quite a bit. Yeah, right. that's true. And that's a really good point because we really don't know. Uh, I really don't think that Daryl would be dealing with her at all. Oh no. Um, no. <laughs> you know the old Daryl really wouldn't give a damn about uh, her yeah. like that, and probably just tell her to shut the hell up. Right. Go on about his business. So. But. Um, the way that I'm reading what's going on with Daryl is that he's, you know, what a lot of people do when they have PTSD because really they've been traumatized all over again, and he's regressing a bit. Um, the, what happened with the governor, what happened at the prison was a trauma. You know, they lost their home. You know, it's just like when, when there's a flood or when there's an earthquake or when there's a hurricane or something like that and, and people lose their home. Yeah. Um, that's exactly what was going on here. And what Daryl did was... You know, he kind of went back to insulting people like he always, you know, like he used to do, right. and just kind of saying whatever. They they really had a home, right? And it's gone. So yeah. The point where Beth was collecting grapes, or was it the girls? Or no, it was the girls in the next one. Right with um Tyree, not yeah Tyree. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. they saw the grapes where she dropped it and she ran because there was another group, right? That uh, they ran yeah. into. Yeah, so like the timeline was that there was this other group that preceded. Oh, right, right, gotcha, gotcha. Right. Right. They followed them, but they saw some grapes or whatever from the girls, which would had nothing to do with this whole other group. That came and right, 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 and it kind of threw them off a little bit as far as right. the is concerned. Um, then we get to Tyrese and Mika and Lizzie. Well, it was 
I've got to say the most disturbing thing was, of course, her... Yeah, trying to kill the baby. The baby, yeah. I right. remember this um, when someone was saying about horror tropes. Um, one of the most common horror tropes are murderous children. There's something like... Right. Really disturbing. Because about. you don't expect a child to think that way. And especially like little girls. There's right. something about it that's just really creepy. <laughs> right. But like I said, she grew up in the zombie apocalypse, so she, the childhood is gone. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. So, yeah. I, I do expect some things out of her as far as murdering a person at some point. If she hasn't already, because I said I. You know, my theory was that she already killed uh, Tyrese's girlfriend. Yeah, I, I right. think that I, I'm actually, the more I think about that, the more I'm actually agreeing with you. I, right. I would not be surprised in any way, shape, or form if she right. was the one who actually did kill her. You can, you can look in her eyes. She just zoned out when she was smoking the baby. Like, yeah. She did zone out. She right. did zone out. There was a little bit of, uh, you know, muffled speech around her. People call it the name. She can't pay no attention to it. But honestly, you know, I was, I was thrilled that, you know, well, not thrilled, but I'm I'm interested in seeing what's going on with, with Carol, right. and right. you know, and her returning. But for me, because I thought she was, I just knew she was gonna die. Right. But Ju Judith being alive, like when Tyrese turned around and Judith was there. Yeah. Right. I was like, oh, okay. The baby isn't already dead. The baby's going to die in this episode. Right. So I <laughs> I really thought that if this was it for the baby, I was fully right. expecting, you know, Red Wedding Part Two. Right. <laughs> <laughs> for this baby to bite the building. Right. Then Carol came and I guess she saw what's going on and saved the baby. If she did see it, and yeah. Malcolm's theory is correct, right. she probably did keep that to herself. Did not go into much about Carol. They did not. They found, yeah, so that is going to be... No, let's let's get to the good part. Yeah. Carol's face when she saw Tyrese. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, a fantastic bit of acting. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cause she so just, she was like, uh, so hi, so how you doing, Tyrese? Yeah, no, keeping right. Keeping at a distance. Yeah. Right. I'm like, are you gonna hug me or choke me? <laughs> right. Yeah. But I mean, you know, T Carol told a, a a you know bit of a lie. Yeah. Um, there, and we all know lies don't necessarily carry on these shows. No. Right. Um, you know, she's going to get found out, and Tyrese is going to find out. Right. And the interesting thing is, what is Tyrese going to do when he finds out? I can't wait to know. I really want to punch her in the face, but that's just me. Well, right. that was a great, great way to to build the suspense is the fact that they're together. Mm -hmm. Right. In one know, group, it's just inevitable. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, in me. <laughs> so we have uh, Sasha, Bob, and Maggie. Right. Um. Okay. So no one trusts Bob. Right. And no. no one in, in like the audience. We don't trust Bob. No. We don't know what's going on. He's smiling and everything. Everybody mad at him. Right. He's been recovery. Yeah. And has found you know a, a certain kind of peace, like an inner power. So you know, there's a lot of things that they do in twelve step that kind of lend to people acting the way that he acts. Right. Um, so it's really really interesting how he is viewing the world. Right. Um, in contrast to the people that are around him, because he has. Uh, Sasha, who's like, I, I just, you know, I'm pretty sure my brother is dead. And right. Aggie, who's like, I don't think that my husband is dead, but I need to go make sure. They right. really, they really don't give a damn about Bob right now. They can really kind of take him or leave him. Yeah, and definitely Maggie was on on point. Right. Oh yeah. When she got to the bus, like, yeah, she was focused. Yeah. Because she wanted awesome. to know if her husband was still alive, which I think anyone would do. Right. And Maggie has always been that type. Maggie has been like that since the farm. I don't even know why people question Maggie doing some old crazy shit like that. Because right. That's Maggie, and that's what she does. Right. I mean, I was glad that she cleared the bus out because that gave her a little bit of hope. Right. Because yeah. kind of that little cry laugh she had on the bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like she would yeah. leave. She was okay. She was saddened that the people she knew died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But she was happy that she didn't see her husband. Yeah. yeah. At the same was time. A, no, you're right. There was a little bit of empathy um, right. towards the people who, you know, because right. even Bob was like, you know, these were good people. They right. recognized these people on the bus. They, they had dealt with them for however long they were at the, at the, uh, the farm, at the prison. Yeah. Um, so they knew them. They were aware of what, yeah. Yeah, Glenn and Terry. Yeah. Glenn wakes up with the people in jail at the bottom trying to get to him. He was knocked unconscious by the explosion. So yeah. he wakes up seeing all those zombies. <laughs> yeah, that was no at the bottom. Yeah, that was a pretty good. Um, they teased that last episode. Uh, right, they but, did. So that and that it really was a bit of a spoiler because when Maggie was doing all this looking for Glenn and she saw the guy with the dark hair on the bus, 
Right. We already knew that that wasn't him. Let let me. I, I do want to make sure that I point out that Glenn is probably the the luckiest character that's ever been on the yes. show. <laughs> yes. That's true. Nobody gets out of a jam quite like Glenn. Right. <laughs> Nobody. I mean, you know, he just. Finds a, I mean, he has skill that he's developed over time. Right. Everybody else in the wilderness and don't, you know, don't have weapons, don't have nothing. So he can go actually go into jail, find weapons, find what he need. Yeah, that's true. In a calm setting. Yeah. So he had a big advantage in this episode. Yeah, the riot, the riot gear was was. Under of course, yeah, he had that he had that place already because right. even though they didn't have a great plan for how. You know, if this happens, where do we meet up? They don't have that plan. Right. Um, but he did have enough sense to, well, let me go get the riot here so I can get the hell out of here. Right. Yeah. And, I, and a little side note, I liked how they did the camera scene. I also talked about this to Cecil. They actually made a, a separate helmet for the camera. Mm -hmm. So when you see Glenn going through the zombies, that actually the camera, it, it was just an amazing shot, I thought. And yeah, he went through a whole herd. <laughs> just right. powered his way through it. He did kind of just kind of bogart his way through the herd, didn't he? Yeah, right. Yeah, it was just crazy. Right, because they can't bike through the suit. So right. He just yeah. went for it. Yeah. Not and the last finally, <laughs> yeah. And then he found Terra. It right. wasn't. It wasn't the fact that there are zombies, you know, all around her in the prison that got her. Right. That her was. An emotional connection that she thought she had with some dude. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yes, it was the governor. Of course, he's crazy and all this that, and the other. But right. she fell. She fell for it, and right. she was like, "I can't believe I fell for this Which, foolishness." Right. And it got her to the point where she was just sitting there, just right. sitting there. This way, yeah, it, was like, yeah, it wasn't just her sister and her niece, right, and her girlfriend. You know, mm -hmm. so it was like everyone she knew was gone. Right. Yeah, everyone's right. gone, and it w it wasn't the zombies that did this. It wasn't the fact that there were zombies all around her right. that sent yeah. her through this emotional uh, mm -hmm. episode. It was the actual interactions that you have with people, which was, which is what makes the show so right. good. It's not about, and I keep trying to tell people who don't, who don't watch the show, right. it's really not about the zombies. The show isn't about zombies. Right. I remember seeing the, like a meme on one of the Walking Dead groups that I joined where okay. they digitally removed the zombies and put like kittens. <laughs> like towers of kittens devouring people. It really doesn't matter what it is. Right. Yeah. 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 But with regard to um, you know, new characters, we have Abraham now. Mm -hmm. um, who, you know, of course, we don't know his name, so sorry, people, for if you didn't know. Okay, well, I, I, I'll, leave, I'll leave that a secret. I'll just leave that a secret. Um, you know, because I don't know anything about I don't know anything well, about I, I asked Malcolm this, is any of these characters in the comic book yeah, they're all. They, in fact, um, Cecil mentioned it that the way they appeared um, in the show was almost a identical frame to the way they appeared in the comic. Right, yeah. like like Duke Nukem. Yeah, that, well, yeah, he did. Like <laughs> and then he looked like Duke Nukem. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That is true. It, I'm sorry, it just came out like the. It looked like the Power Rangers that had their little he stands. He did. He just came out there like damn Sergeant Slaughter. I was like, you right. Know what? Yeah. So, <laughs> like he is. Used to being in charge, you know. In the comic, he definitely when they all got back together, he and Rick were definitely at odds with each other because. Oh, that gonna be a if they do that yeah. in the episode, that gonna be a good episode. And like um, his story is that they've been traveling. Like um, they just said they don't their their philosophy was never stay in one place too long. Right. You know, they're always they're nomads and. Um, right. Which is so, which and is Rick is about. You know, finding a place, and so right. obviously they are at odds. Like, find a place or keep moving. Right. You know. Um, so that, the, I think this show is at its best when Rick has someone who, I guess, I guess um, and opposite as far as philosophy is concerned. Right. Yeah. Um, or and it's not really necessary when Rick has that because we had Shane and Dale right. who had opposite philosophies. We had um, really Morgan and Rick who had opposite philosophies for a while. Uh, Merle and Daryl who yeah. also had opposite philosophies. Right. That's yeah. when the show is at its best. Right. If they want to keep the group safe, they just have different ideas of how to go about it. Yeah. And I was going to say, like, one thing I think Abraham's um, emergence in the show, my presage, is what they would call superherds in the comic. Right. Yeah. 
Um, they showed a little bit of it um, in the first half of the season when... Um, he was in that car? Yeah, and you saw off in the distance there was just zombies all the way to the horizon. Mm-hmm. Um, that was something that Abraham tells them about. Like, the reason why they no longer stay in place is because they ran into a super herd. It's like there's no structure, no building that could withstand it. They showed one prior to him, so I'm thinking if we're going to make predictions like Super Herd <laughs> finale, please. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let's see a million zombies coming. Oh, and, and this is also a side note. Me and Cecil talk about. Uh, we want to know more about the rat thing at the jail. Mm. Yeah, we we still don't have any resolution as right. far as here. Because well, like the organs were perfect, the organs were perfectly removed and not damaged, and the rat was perfectly pinned up. I I, I truly have no idea. It, well, it's just an episode you have to watch a couple of times to catch all of what you need. Yeah. Because it's moving at a fast, well, not like a super fast pace, but yeah. Well, you there were a lot to, of things that you had to see. You couldn't text while you were watching this episode. Even though Daryl was kind of a hard ass when he made that comment about um, you know Herschel's faith, you know Herschel had faith with what happened to him or whatever he said, something of that nature. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why I say you have to you have to watch it. When you watch it, even though he didn't say I'm sorry, right. his face was I'm sorry. Yeah, right. he gave a real okay, my bad. Yeah, yeah I did like their um, tag kill. That was one. Of, I, yeah, wasn't that nice? Yeah, that, right. I have to say the the Daryl Beth tag kill of the week. That was right. <laughs> Flipped yeah. him over. Said, ah. Yeah. You mentioned that that was the zombie that um from the the railroad track. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's that only, did not catch that connection. Right. Which was and that's cool. why they did that so that you could see that that was that same. Movie. Right. 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 That they're so close together, but they can't see each other. Right. They're distance, but you know, through time. It was right. just interesting. I did not see that when. Right. right, pretty cool, cool little thing. So, so yeah. W- what was that group? Did they ever explain who that group was? No, they didn't explain who they were. Mm-hmm. But yeah. apparently, they okay. Somehow they knew about Terminus. Right. Of course. Right. right. So right. I'm wondering, did they leave and come back, or you know, why would you? How would you oh, know about it? that? That's a, a pretty good device to get everyone together. Like, right. If I'm, they have it on the railroad track, there's other places it's going to be. I'm sure eventually right. I'll. So the name Terminus was the original name for the city of Atlanta because Atlanta was a railroad town, right? And that's where all the um, the tracks converged, right? Um, hmm. at, at the terminus, and that's what that's what that name is. Okay. If, you look, if you look on the map in the show, it's right, really kind of where that name is. Right. Who you think gonna die in the next episode? In your opinion? Oh, no, don't ask me that. <laughs> A, a zombie? I think a zombie's gonna get it. <laughs> I well, said the, the little girl. Honestly, the I can't remember Mika? the Mika. I think she's she's not long for this world. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mika I, was, is dumb. I, I, I was thinking it too. Like one of the yeah. girls one of the girls gonna have and to And if go. I had to predict, I would say it's Lizzie who kills her. Or Lizzie who kills oh, her. Yeah. Yeah. Allows her to die. Either, if she either. dies, it's gonna be it's gonna be Lizzie who kills her. Yeah. That's, that's too yeah. bad. I yeah, hate it's playing it's this game. Who's gonna die? Because it's, <laughs> I hate this game. I really do. I made up this game, and I really hate this game. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, yeah. We may we may see a baby zombie chomping at <laughs> chomping at You some know ankles. what? I, when I was watching it just now, I was telling Greg. I, you know, the the last the only thing that would be worse than seeing a baby zombie is seeing a zombie eat a baby. Oh God! Yeah, that would be the worst, the worst thing. Well, ever. Holding, holding it, holding it up like a hoagie just sandwich, like, right? Like oh, a little, God, little baby leg just hanging out of the side of his mouth. Anyway, yeah. sorry, sorry, internet, Barbara. I, I'm still going with Judith. I think she's going to be the next yeah. one to like it. I just do. Yeah, and I, I, I should know by now that this show does a lot of foreshadowing. Right. Yeah. I really should. Like, if you mention Carol's name, Carol's going to show up. <laughs> and that's exactly what they did. Right. And I still wouldn't like Carol. Carol was going to show up. I really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I still think it's going to be Judith. I'm still going with Judith. Right. Yeah. Or okay. Carol. If what would you say, Jared? Oh my God! If Carol dies, and I'm not. Oh my God! <laughs> oh yeah. Well, actually, Carol doesn't strike me as a um as a bad choice either. But Carol and Tyrese were an item in the comic. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. They were a big item. In the comic. 
Oh, yeah, and, um, yeah, please, please don't put that in the show. Please, well, Lord, don't. Do let that. me just tell you what broke them up was Michonne. Michonne was a you know, slut. <laughs> yes, she was. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, she was. And Carol lost her mind out of jealousy. And right. Okay. But Ooh, that, she's Carol. not the same character. Carol in the comic is nothing like Carol on the show. So, right. Uh, At Carol and Michonne's showdown, that would be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carol one? in the comic was a total pussy. I mean, she was nothing like this Carol stuff. So. Oh, so right. she stayed. She stayed the way that she was at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, okay, gotcha. Right. Well, all right, then, Internet. Um, that's it for the Walking Dead uh, right. hangout for M3. Please, right. uh, mm -hmm. stay tuned and subscribe and watch. Yeah. What What else we got? We got M3 Entertainment. We got the blog. We got all right. kinds of great stuff. So we'll just be back next week with. More content about Walking Dead. The Dead Baby. All right. Goodbye, Internet. Thank you for watching our video. Comment, like, and share our content. For more information, visit MailMediaMind.com and click the About section.